Welcome to the second surface area problem. For the problem here, what I'm going to get you to do, or what we're going to do, is work on what is the total surface area of all the walls in this building here, excluding the windows and the doors, so not including the windows or the doors. Alright, as you'll see, there's about three or four rooms, and we are going to use a bit of estimation while we're doing this. So the first thing you probably want to remember is the work at area is just length times width. Total surface area, you just work out all the areas and you add them together. So, first off with this house, we'll get rid of this roof, it's getting in the way. And so what we'll do here is first thing we'll get is a total of all the walls. The total surface area is going to be the surface area of all the walls minus the surface area of the windows and doors. So the surface area of the walls is the total length of all the walls times the height. Now the height, if you remember, of a lot of buildings is 2.4 metres. So the first one's here, 12.8, there's two of those. And there's also an 8.1 metre. Okay? Now, there are all the ones running that way. Next thing I check is all the ones running the other way. There's a couple of 8.7s, so there's three of them all together. And there's a 4.7 metre. Okay? Once again, yeah, I'm converting these straight away from millimetres into metres. Okay? So, we're going to get all these and we we'll add all these together. And that will be the total length of the walls, which is 64.5 metres. And to work out the total area of all the walls, we'll get this 64.5, and we'll times this by the height, which was 2.4 metres. Okay, so all up, we get a total area, total surface area, 154.8 metres squared. Now, that's all really good. So what we're going to have to look at now is these are the measurements of the windows and doors. Okay, so when we add all these together, we ought to work out the surface area of all these windows and doors. So the total length of these, we're going to times this by 2. Roughly the height is roughly 2.1 or 1.8 metres, so we're just measuring this roughly at 2 metres. So not 14.2, which is the total length of all those measurements back there, times 2 gives us 28.4 metres squared. Okay, so finally, the surface area, as you see up from the top there, once again was the surface area of the walls, this 154.8 metres squared. Take away the surface area of the windows and doors, which was 28.4 metres squared. So all up the surface area is 126.4 metres squared. So that's how you might want to work out a surface area where you have lots and lots of lengths, all at the same height. Just add all the lengths together and times it by the height. Okay, and in this example here you take out the windows, doors, things like that. Okay. See you next time. Bye.